People recently started getting packages of mystery seeds from China. The USDA has identified some of them and are analyzing others. An A&M expert with the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab tells Sunnyside how planting them could impact our environment. The USDA has determined some of the seeds they've analyzed so far belong to various species. Some of those include mustard, cabbage, and various herbs like mint and rosemary. The USDA is doing the due diligence right now to identify the seeds because um, in order to know how to deal with them, if it is an invasive, uh, the ideal situation is to know what you're dealing with. Species that come to a new area they're not originally from could lead to harmful effects on that environment. Invasive is, is something that, that would be able to cause economical uh, damage as well as ecological damage. Uh, because they has the potential to come in into an area and take over an area, in some sense displacing our native uh, um, varieties, our native species. Dr. Ong says the United States is so large that certain states can have species that we do not have here in Texas that could be considered an invasive species. There are many ways uh, that they can, they can enter a new area. Uh, you can think of it in two generalized ways. One is naturally. So sometimes a, a, a seed can be blown in if it is capable of that or brought in uh, unintentionally. Or then it could also come in through purposeful introduction, so whether it's to trade or uh, uh, somebody wanting to grow a new thing. An invasive species can have harmful economic and agricultural effects. If a new weed comes in, let's say our area, or into a farmer's field, um, what that means is the farmer will have to spend extra dollars to uh, deal with that weed, uh, perhaps something that he didn't have to do before, so that he's going to have to take a heat. Dr. Ong says it's possible in this example the species doesn't respond to the herbicides that are available, which will make it harder to limit its existence where it's not supposed to be growing. In College Station, Sunnyside, KAGS News.